Uh, hopefully you can see my slide there. Yes, we can. Thank you, Robin. Yeah, brilliant. Okay, cool. Uh, so yeah, Ming Fang asked me to just kind of give you a brief uh, presentation uh, related to data governance and its involvement and impact with data quality and how data quality and governance kind of can interrelate and interact. Um, so firstly, I would just like to give an acknowledgement of country. Uh, we acknowledge and celebrate the first Australians on whose traditional lands we meet, and we pay our respect to their elders past, present and emerging. And for me today, that's the uh, people of the Gadigal Nation on the um, Aurora, Aurora lands uh, in Sydney. So just uh, the content for today's presentation, I'm just going to give a brief introduction to myself so you know a bit more about me and my background and where I can subsequently support or answer any questions people might have with regards say data governance or uh, my current role with the ARDC. I'm going to comment on the importance of understanding what research data is in relation to this sort of information, touch upon data governance and data governance principles, then move into kind of the considerations of data governance and impact for uh, data quality. And then I'll try and answer any questions um, that people might have. So just a quick bit about me, some of my background and skills. I've got over 12 years experience working with data, uh, very much kind of within the STEM side, so sciences, arts and humanities, and the GLAM sector, particularly working with non-traditional research. And I've had various roles in the UK. I was the research information manager at the Glasgow School of Art, so working very much with non-traditional research before moving to Sydney, where I became the repository and digitization manager at Sydney Uni and then senior research data librarian at UNSW. And I have now moved to the ARDC, where I am their research data specialist in data governance. Uh, which is a role I'm thoroughly enjoying. And this is an area that I'm happy to support projects and people with in that area. So the first thing I kind of wanted to touch upon is the question of what is research data? And this is actually a common question that comes up for researchers when they're kind of thinking about the projects that they're doing and actually understanding whether the data they are collecting can be classified as kind of research data and how it should subsequently be managed, recorded, understanding, say, the quality of it and understanding the fairness of the data and how it could be potentially be reused in the future. So research data primarily is uh, information, records and files that are collected or used during the research process. And data may be numerical, descriptive, visual, raw, analyzed, experimental or observational. So this is quite a brief definition. And I must say there's many, many more out there, each of differing lengths. But I quite like this one. Um, I thought it's quite simple and to the point. And then you have to also look at what types of research data might be out there that you might be kind of working with and needing to understand the quality of that type of data uh, that you're handling. So primarily we have our quantitative data, so numerical information, qualitative, which very much comes from your surveys, focus groups, observational uh, data, your non-traditional work, so visual materials, that sort of thing. Um, and very much I've come into contact these days with Indigenous data and understanding the quality of that and how it can subsequently be handled accordingly, uh, potentially understanding kind of community aspects to the management of data. You have sensitive data, of course, which needs to be handled and tackled in its own ways. Uh, software is becoming much more prevalent as a research data type. Um, as mentioned, these areas all fall under the STEM, GLAM and HASS kind of categories. Then kind of understanding the type of data you have, whether it's primary, so that you've collected firsthand or secondary data that you're actually making use of someone else's data such that you really need to be aware of what you're using and the quality of that data. 
So just a quick kind of overview and commentary on data governance. So for me, I see data governance as an umbrella term that can be used to describe rules and policies for the handling and management and sharing of the data created during a research project or within an organization. Organizations uh, have different types of data governance. So there could be the data governance associated, say, within your university for your kind of HR uh, data and general data around the uh, organization. But for this talk, the particular interest is in research data governance. So it's the data that's coming out of the research projects. Uh, policies and frameworks tend to be created as part of a governance approach to support data governance. And within these specific principles need to be stated and adhered to. And it can be also mentioned that the principles can follow particular structures. And there's uh, different options out there when it comes to the principles. And also the policies and frameworks that can be created with regards to data governance can be as detailed as you require them to be. So from my experience with the ARDC and uh, some policies and frameworks I've reviewed for projects, some of these have been in the uh, realms of 40 to 50 pages, while some have just been a couple of pages long. So it's very much what works for you and what's best for the project that you're working on. So this diagram just comments on a couple of uh, considerations in association with data governance. So the first uh, concept relates to value. So do you actually know the value of your data? And within kind of value of the data, you could also be um, investigating and understanding the actual level and quality of the data that you're going to be handling and subsequently allowing access to, which is the next step in the diagram. So do you know who actually has access to the data uh, that you're, you've been creating or you're working with? Um, do you know where your data is actually being housed? Is it on kind of local servers? Is it within the state? Or is it um, external uh, devices? Is it in Australia or outside of Australia? These are considerations that need to be made when thinking about data governance. The actual security of the data is important. So who's protecting it? Is there any cybersecurity or authentication processes put in place for the handling and sharing and management of the data? Which leads on to how well the data is subsequently protected in preparation for reuse. So that's kind of looking at uh, what uh, licensing or uh, conditions, terms and conditions that might be put in place on the data to help support its use. So from the research that I've done since joining the ARDC within uh, data governance, um, uh, the framework and policy can follow specific principles and uh, listed here are some areas that could be covered. These are common ones that have come up in uh, the literature that I've investigated and looked at. So it's very much kind of looking at the integrity uh, of the data that's being managed and collected within the research project and subsequently handled and shared. So this is also where kind of the quality of your data will come into play because it influences the integrity of the data. Transparency is important because this will ensure that um, the data and uh, information being collected is understandable, it's clear, um, everyone uh, using or potentially using the data is across its purpose. We've got audibility and accountability. Uh, stewardship is very much related to who um, is managing the data, so roles and responsibilities in the um, handling creation of the data sets and subsequently say the sharing so the roles of data custodians and uh, the researchers actually asking to um, gain access to the data that's being created from a research project it's important also to kind of add checks and balances to the data to ensure it is um, sufficiently managed also standards might be put in place um, for the management and also uh, risk and change management should be uh, covered 
uh, within the framework uh, for the handling um, of data governance. So just some other considerations and support areas that kind of crop up with regards to data governance. So all projects, areas of studies and research creates unique data sets that need to be managed and governed, governed accordingly. Uh, when thinking about the data that you're uh, creating and is going to be the kind of endpoint of the project, it's important to have a understanding and knowledge around the actual type of data. So it's format, it's size, whether the data is seen as sensitive. Uh, sensitivity of data will um, impact on various aspects of the management of the data, such as the ability to share and license and publish the data. Who is the intended audience for the data? Are there any caveats or any specific um, rules or um, work that needs to be done to ensure your data is of sufficient quality for the spe specific audience that you're working with? What might the intended reuse of the data be? Might someone want to uh, uh, reinvent the wheel and do some new research using your data or do they want to actually use your data to verify the results um, of the work that you've already done? Uh, the actual kind of sharing of data needs to be considered, so terms and conditions put in place, um, understanding of where the data might potentially be stored and its access, so this kind of relates to um, local and national storage, or whether it's just a uh, kind of comp computational device that gets used. Um, licensing, copyright, IP, those sorts of um, areas need to be um, understood and attached to the data, and this really influences the potential reuse. Uh, listed here also, of course, is the actual quality of the data that um, is being collected or created, and you would want to ensure that the quality of your data before sharing is of a sufficient standard that other um, people wanting to reuse the data can get the benefits from the data as well. Of course, um, FAIR and the FAIR principles are very common when it comes to data management and handling of data. So is your data um, at the end of your project, can it be classified as FAIR? Is it findable? Is it accessible? Is, is it interoperable? And is it reusable? Um, and following on from kind of looking at these considerations, this really helps you to develop uh, various principles and the policy for data governance. And very much is, this can be done through the development kind of, of a, a checklist to allow people to really understand if you've gained enough knowledge around the data that's being uh, collected as part of your project. So just... Uh, coming to the end of the uh, presentation now. So just a couple of comments related to kind of data governance and data quality. So in my opinion, uh, data quality will impact components of data governance, particularly relating to the actual sharing of the data. Um, a researcher would not want to share data with um, another individual or, or organization if they're not happy with the quality of the, the end product and the data that they're uh, wanting to share. Uh, the data quality will also Im impact and influence um, requests for data. So those kind of searching for data will, will themselves be looking for good quality data. Um, when uh, doing their literature reviews and their searches for supporting materials for their research. It's also important to have reliability and trust in the project, so quality assurance, um, when looking at other people's work and other projects to really see and understand um, where the data can subsequently be used for other projects. Um, as mentioned with one of the uh, principles that I highlighted earlier, uh, to do stewardship, uh, roles and responsibilities um, impact uh, the quality of the data that might be being uh, created as part of the 
project and will subsequently feed into the data governance frameworks. So who is handling the data, who is requesting the data, um, and not making this an overcomplicated process. And then, as mentioned earlier, um, the fairness of the data, um, whether um, the data fits in with these principles of findable, accessible, interoperable, and reusable. So just in uh, conclusion, just a concluding statement here. So data governance is a fundamental component of any research project. It is important to have a governance framework in place to support the management, handling, and sharing of the data created by a project. And it is important to ensure that any data that has been created as part of the project is of good quality to support sharing and future reuse of the data. So. I would like to uh, end my presentation there and I will stop sharing my slides. And Catherine, you can stop the recording.